This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned to see how you can build your own website. We're standing by a likeness of me on the set of the SpongeBob movie because we're actually using this in the picture. This is a 12 foot, 700 pound David Hasselhoff replica with hair from a yak. The Spongebob movie is one of the greatest animated movies of all time. I'm not joking here. It offers pretty much everything you could want from an adventure comedy, and it serves as a true series finale to one of the funniest cartoons ever. Not only that, but you can rewatch it a hundred times and still have fun with it. There's so much to love here, but this video isn't about all that. Instead, let's take a look at an interesting fact behind one of the movie's most well-known scenes. Spongebob and Patrick have finally made it to Shell City, and even escaped to tell the tale. They've secured King Neptune's crown, and there's only one place left to go, Bikini Bottom. That's how they can save the day, right? The problem is that they have no real means of getting there, that is, until the man, the myth, the legend arrives. I'm David Hasselhoff. He's a well-known celebrity in real life thanks to Baywatch, but a new generation would soon love him for a completely different reason. In the next few dramatic minutes, the mission is simple. Our two main characters need to ride Hasselhoff's body all the way home to deliver the crown. What follows is an action-packed race against time, along with assassin Dennis, who's close behind. This part of the Spongebob movie was, to put it simply, amazing. Everyone remembers it for the drama, the excitement, the ultimate final fight. While many recognize it as something incredible, here's a fun fact you may not know. The David Hasselhoff you see is not real. Let me be a little more specific. Over the course of the scene, we see shots that take place on very various parts of his body. As it turns out, this is a full-on replica of the real-life celebrity, and it was made entirely out of wax. The figure was built by a company called Alterion, who specializes in effects, and they did their best to make it look as real as possible. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Oh. I, know, I know you're not supposed to see it, but, you know, it just opens up my options for it, so... Up close, you might think it's terrifying to see an exact replica of a human being, and... Yeah, you would be completely right. This is the thing of nightmares, but it's still kinda cool. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to create your very own website. I've been making some progress on my site so far. It's all about Spongebob stuff because why not? Squarespace gives me the chance to share more Spongebob knowledge with the world through the many features it offers. There are a whole boatload of sections to choose from to make what you want. I write a bit about the very first season along with using the special gallery feature to put everything in one convenient place. All of this is easy to use even if you're like a super beginner. Beginner. Pretty cool. There are also these fun little animations you can have as backgrounds, which I think makes the site a lot nicer. Aside from all this, I just started up a new page called Really Obscure SpongeBob Fun Facts. This is from the template I started the site on, but don't worry, it can be changed. When you're ready for this awesome opportunity, head to squarespace.com slash veil with coupon code veil to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. The link is in the description. When we look at Hasselhoff standing side by side with his counterpart, you'll realize that the size is a lot bigger than a normal person. During production, this gave the crew a ton of room to turn their vision into a reality, and with the magic of editing, you couldn't even tell that the body wasn't a normal person. Fast forward in time to 2014, and David decides to auction off his wax statue. The wackiest item up for auction is an oversized, better than life-sized model of Hasselhoff and Baywatch swim trunks made to look like he's gliding across the water that comes mounted on a rolling metal rack. It was used as a prop in the 2004 SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Model Hasselhoff is sporting a very weird and almost psychotic grin. Put a glass top on it and this would make the creepiest coffee table ever. Estimate $20,000 to $30,000. That's a lot of cash. So this is Big Dave. It is 12 feet long. It is in the SpongeBob movie. I found this Jack in Johannesburg, South Africa at a swap meet. Ah! Whoa, stop it, Dave. What do you think? <laughs> Just days later, Hasselhoff realized he was making a mistake. The prop was something that could never be replaced, and so he called up the people who ran the auction and got a hold of it again. Seems like he's more attached to this guy than you might think. Little did anyone realize just how massive Big Dave would become in the SpongeBob universe. What started out as a simple celebrity cameo in the original movie eventually became so much more. 2019 revealed an ultimate celebration of SpongeBob with a big birthday blowout. There were 
old school references galore, and of course, the legend returned for a cameo. He may have only appeared for a few minutes in the original movie, but there's a reason people remember this. Right now, he's not even really known as the Baywatch guy anymore. No way. He's the savior of Spongebob and Patrick, the man we can all call to help us get out of a bad situation. I am never gonna forget David Hasselhoff. And of course, we also owe a lot to his wax counterpart. Name a more iconic duo. You can't. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.